advocates who are trying to support these families in need is that the families, many of the families, feel abandoned. This tragedy that occurred on Sunday, January 9th, has not just New York City, New York State, the nation, but the world is in mourning. This tragedy has touched so many lives and there has been an outpouring of support globally for the victims, the survivors, and their families. But while we appreciate the many press conferences with the countless elected officials from the governor, Kathy Hochul, to Mayor Eric Adams, to Borough President Vanessa Gibson, to Senator Chuck Schumer, Congressman Richie Torres. Yes, thank you. Thank you for saying that you're going to support these families. But we are on the ground, advocates are on the ground, and the families are not getting all the support that they need. Some may say, well, there's miscommunication or there's misunderstanding, but I'm sorry. That's just an excuse. We have supporters from all over the world who opened up their pocketbooks to help these families. People have been contributing to different fundraising vehicles from the governor's fund to the mayor's fund to the GoFundMe fund to the Bronx Community Foundation fund and other funds. But this money is not getting to these families. For those of you who know me, you all know I keep it real. There has been a lot of money raised. We have families who are still in the hotels and we have some families in the hotels as early as yesterday being told they must leave the hotels. They must go to homeless shelters. Why must they go to homeless shelters? When the mayor, the governor, the senator, the congressman, and every elected official said, we are here to support you. Why? Why must they go? Why must they be told either go to a homeless shelter, stay by a family friend, or return back to this building, which as far as I'm concerned, is not safe. Does this building have heat? No. The answer is no. No. So this is our question. For the governor, for the mayor, for our elected officials. Where they be at when we going through the problems? We have been here before in 2017, and the city council passed laws. And we are here again. And it's the same communities, black and brown communities, who are impacted. Landlords are getting away with not providing heat, with not fire, following fire, fire departments, fire safety codes. It's more than that. Yeah. It's a lot more than that. And as for our media, you are hearing from the tenants that they need help. Our next speaker is Mr. Al Haji and Darrell no, from Sunu Afri. And that's why we're here, sir. We are here to get your voices out yeah. instead of the politicians because we need to hear from you and the public and the world needs to hear that you are not getting the support you need down to something basic as heat in this building. These people are not animals. They deserve heat. Mr. Ndow. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mono. Thank you, everyone. Just say, just say, hearing from uh, all our producers, what they just been saying. What we need right now is help. It is sad, our heart go to the family, the deceased. But this cannot continue in the 21st century. It's just unbelievable. What we are asking right now is people, some of them are laid on the hospital. Some of them are thinking about how we're going to bury them. Are they going to be buried here or back home? Those questions are happening. Is it, a, is it, it is a humanitarian. 
But definitely, as you all know, the seven people that we lost are Africans. Definitely, to be sure, Gambian. But this is a humanitarian issue.